Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We're looking at working faster in Final Cut Pro. These are the warp speed editing tips from this guy, Mark Spencer. He's going to show us something that he's shown us before, but a variation on the theme. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to add to a little bit. So this this is based on our warp speed editing tutorial, um, where uh, people have come up with other really great ideas after. And I email you. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, a lot, lot of um, great ideas, either emailed or long posts on Facebook of people trying out different things, and it's been really interesting. So I wanted to add on, so I'm calling this even faster snapshots, okay? Oh, nice. But before I get there, there's something else that somebody wrote in and asked about that a lot of people don't seem to notice about finding the duration of clips, clip ranges, projects, project ranges, and there's a really, it's really easy, but it's not totally obvious. So I want to start okay. with that. All right. So Does this have anything to do with snapshots? It, not really. It's just a little additional tip oh, because okay. this is also, You're going what off it has, on to do with, has to do with warp speed uh, editing. Okay. 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 So um, <laughs> when you want to know the duration of a clip, uh -huh. if you just select a clip in the browser, it tells you right down at the bottom of the browser how long that clip is. Got it. Uh, and you know, a lot of folks don't know that, don't even know that. Or if you select a range, it'll show you the duration of that range right there. Yeah. So there's this Control D thing that you can press. It's an extra in, step. In order to, it'll tell you a range, and you can change the range. But you don't actually need to do that. And in fact, uh, if you select a project in the browser, it'll tell you the duration of the project. And what I love is sometimes you've got multiple projects mm -hmm. that you're going to chain together, and they'll be your full edit. Sure. But if you select with a Command key multiple projects in your browser, it'll show you the duration of all those projects okay, together. Okay, now that I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that. That is cool. That's pretty nice, I, right? I didn't know that. So that same idea with selecting multiple projects works with multiple clips. If you select multiple clips, it will show you the duration, the total durations of all those clips together. And I just find that frequently useful if I'm going to need to add those clips in, or I'm doing a replace edit and I want to make sure the clip I'm bringing in is is longer than the current clip or whatever. It's a, a quick way to find. Well, what's really the cool about this? We do these tutorials, and I'm always asking Travis, okay, what's the total duration? I you can just like select all the projects. There, the projects. there it is. Right. That's how long it is. Wow. And then great. for an existing project down at the bottom, it tells you how long that project is, whatever's open. Sure. And then if you set like if I tap I, it'll tell me, and then I tap O it'll tell me the duration of that range. That's nice. So nice that's a little side tip. Okay, so now for the key thing is about um, making backups, making snapshots of your project. And the way we may have learned that is, well, okay, I have to find this project in the browser. So you can go to the File menu, and you can choose to reveal the project in the browser, or Option Shift F, um, which will bring you to it. And then you could right click on it and say duplicate project as a snapshot, or you could sh use Shift Command D. Right. All right, we've talked about that. That's great. But the thing is, um, and this is something new that I learned, is you don't need to reveal the project in the browser first. So you can be in your project working, and all you need to do is press, now you want to watch this, Shift Command D. Wow, there it, it is. It made it, yeah, that's all you need. You don't have to well, reveal Well, because technically you're in the project. Even though yeah. you're in the timeline, that's a yeah. project. So it's huge. Shift Command D will just create a snapshot, and you can keep working. Here's the danger, okay? Oh, no. So that's the cool thing. Here's the danger. Yeah. I just press Shift Command D. My browser is now active, not the timeline, and the snapshot is selected. So if I now press the space bar, thinking I'm going to play my project, I want you to watch what happens. Look at the top left of the of the timeline where it says first assembly. I'm going to press the space bar. And it didn't happen. Okay, hold on. It will happen. Shift Command D and Spacebar. Okay. Oh, it's playing the snapshot. Right. Why? Because the, because the spacebar is the keyboard shortcut to play a project that is selected in the browser. <laughs> okay? Right. So that's the danger is you can accidentally start working on your snapshot. And is that the worst thing in the world? Well, it can be a pain in the butt. But I've had personal experience with this where right. you think you're editing your own one, but you're editing the snapshot, and some of your changes are in your base edit, and some of the changes in your snapshot, you don't know which is which. I see. So it, you just have to be careful. And the way to get around that is as you're working, Shift Command D to create your snapshot, and then just Command 2 or click in the timeline. Got Either it. way, so you know you're that in the timeline. That forces you, it's a focus that now timeline. The, now the focus is in the timeline. If I press the space bar, I'm playing the current project rather than right. opening my snapshot. Okay. All right. That's that's a good one, Mark. Yeah. So it's it's short, but the, the key is all you need is Shift Command D while you're working. So you don't have to stop. Say, oh, I got to back up. Just Shift Command D, keep working. And then Command Two. And just Command Two, or just click in the timeline right. to stay safe. Yeah. All right. And that's all right. it. All right. Well, 
that. <laughs> That's good. You just saved somebody out there hours of frustration I, I, and running their head to the nearest drywall. Yeah, yeah. and, and this, uh, this additional information uh, we've added to the worst be editing to tutorial. So if you have that tutorial, it's updated yeah. automatically for you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Well, excellent. Uh, you should go check out his Warp Speed Editing Tutorial. It's great. And uh, soon there'll be a Warp Speed Effects. Yeah. Anyway, so thanks for watching uh, Mark's awesome tips and techniques. And uh, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. And we'll see you next week on another episode of MacBreak Studio.